Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Let Me Feel Your Pulse by O. Henry. This is a humorous uh, short story and it tells about uh, a protagonist who is almost uh, nearing his old age and he goes to see a doctor because of his health. And the doctor is a very professional doctor. He asks him all the questions which are necessary and also he takes all the tests uh, according to uh, the protagonist uh, health condition. And the protagonist when he looks at him, he feels that the doctor looks like the historic figure Napoleon. And the doctor asks him all the questions and he finds out that the protagonist is an alcoholic. That is he consumes too much of alcohol. And in order to make him to understand that taking too much of alcohol is not good for health, the doctor gives him a glass of whiskey and asks him to drink. The protagonist is really surprised that the doctor is giving him whiskey to drink and he drinks uh, the whiskey. And after he drinks, the doctor takes his blood pressure in one arm and shows him how the blood pressure is fluctuating and he says this is because of the alcohol which he has consumed. On seeing that the protagonist instead of getting shocked or hurt, he says, give me another glass of whiskey and then take my blood pressure in the other arm so that I will know how this uh, alcohol will affect my other arm also. And uh, the doctor uh, doesn't know what to do because he understood that the protagonist is not taking things seriously. And then he suddenly pricks his finger and takes a drop of blood. And then he does hemoglobin test. And after that, he brings two, three samples of other blood and shows the protagonist his blood and the other blood. And he says that, look how light your blood is. Actually, the doctor meant that the blood was filled with lots of liquid. But the protagonist said that he expected his blood to be blue in color and is very happy that it is red in color. Then afterwards, the doctor takes all the tests and he tells him about the diseases that is he gives him a list of illness and diseases that the protagonist has and he says that it is not good for health and uh, this may lead to his early death also and so the doctor recommends a sanatorium for the protagonist uh, and he tells him to go there and take complete rest and calm his nerves and also be under diet and do good exercise and be in outdoor air. In fact, the doctor himself personally accompanies the protagonist to a sanatorium which is in Catskills. And on going there, the protagonist sees that that place was filled with many people. That is more than 20 people were there. And all of them were either doing exercise or they were doing certain things to improve their concentration or to relax their mind and calm their nerves. They were there. And uh, the protagonist also first decided that he will also stay there to take rest and improve his health. But somehow he felt very uncomfortable there and uh, he wanted to leave that place. And so he leaves the place within a week. Then he goes to the doctor's office to check his blood pressure. And now the doctor understood that he did not stay for a long time in the sanatorium. So now he recommends him a hotel. The hotel name is Bonaire. And that hotel was in the, off of, in the coast of Long Island. And uh, the protagonist also in order to improve his health he goes there. But even here he did not find it comfortable and another thing is it was very costly also and uh, therefore he leaves that place uh, and uh, there were no improvement in his health also and uh, so he did not uh, know what to do. Now what happened is this doctor tells him to consult another physician so he takes him to a consulting physician and this consulting physician also examines the protagonist thoroughly and finally the two doctors they come and recommend a very strict diet to the protagonist. In fact, they tell him a diet pattern where the protagonist starts thinking that only snails are left for him to eat because the doctors have given him such a strict diet pattern. And they also ask him to get sufficient outdoor air and also to good, uh, do good exercise and uh, take a good rest to calm his nerves. Uh, and now the protagonist slowly starts finding that he is unable to work or sleep or eat or uh, his metallic... Uh, Metabolism is also not uh, working properly and then he thinks about his relative John who is in a country and uh, this country house is somewhere about 7 miles from the place that is from Pinevale where he is living. Uh, so he thinks why not I go and uh, stay there with him for some time so he goes there and John welcomes him happily and he gives him a very good dinner and because of the long travel and uh, good dinner 
the protagonist uh, goes to his room and he finds room very comfortable and he has a very very peaceful sleep up in fact when he is sleeping peacefully he is able to hear all the sounds in the silent night uh, he is able to even hear the grass movement of the grass uh, and then in the next morning uh, the protagonist and the john go for a walk and they talk about farming and they also do a little bit of hunting and then they come back and they have a very good uh, breakfast and for one week uh, the protagonist spends his time like this and he starts uh, finding that he is sleeping and eating very well and in fact he is finding himself very happy also so he goes back to the doctor and asks him to check him again but the doctor checks him and he tells him see you are still the same all the sickness which you have is still there so in order to cure all this disease you have to take good rest and you have to also do the good exercise and at the same time you have to maintain your diet pattern also then the protagonist comes back to the place to the country where john is living and at that time john recommends a country doctor to him who is staying near the mountain side so the protagonist goes to see the doctor and this doctor is an aged person and the moment the protagonist meets the doctor he tells him about all the tests which was done to him and about all the diseases which he has and the doctor listens to all what he said and he says uh, seeing the results of all the tests and uh, uh, seeing the way his uh, health condition is he says that uh, you will not live for a long time but thing is the doctor says that there is one chance to cure all the disease he says that in the mountain there is a flowering plant and that one plant can cure all the disease which the protagonist has and the moment the protagonist hears that one plant can cure all his diseases he is very eager to know where that plant is and how can he get it and uh, how fast he can start his treatment with that uh, plant the doctor says that this uh, plant is a very rare plant and it's very hard to find but it is definitely in the mountains and he also says uh, that he does not mind coming along with him and both of them can search for the plant together so every day the old doctor and the protagonist they will go in the mountains in the valleys and they will climb up and down and they will search for the uh, plant but thing is they could not find that plant at all but what happened is every day he used to get up early in the morning he will go and he will search in the mountains and he'll come back and he'll come back and he had time only to sleep and he had a very very good sound sleep this went on for one month and one evening after searching all this uh, plant is daily routine he comes and he meets his another relative amaryllis uh, who is also in the country and as they are walking amaryllis tells him that he is really looking well that is compared to how he was one month earlier now she finds him very hale and healthy and in fact she even teases him saying that why are you saying that you are sick you are looking so strong as a plow mule and you are sleeping for 10 to 12 hours every day and in, you are also eating very well so how can a person who is so very sick who is going to die in a few days uh, be like this uh, at that time the old doctor comes on that way and then he talks to amaryllis and he takes her alone and he talks with her for 5 minutes and then he goes away then both the uh, protagonist and amaryllis they come home and the moment amaryllis comes home she runs and takes the encyclopedia and starts searching for the meaning of her own name and uh, why she is doing this is the doctor had instructed her to do so and then she finds that the meaning of her word is uh, it's a name of a genus of a flowering plant and it is also a name of a country girl in theocritus and virgil and as she is searching for this the protagonist understands that all these days he has been under the spell of thinking about the serious ailments that he had and instead of taking good rest and exercise in order to live a good life he was only thinking about the diseases which he had and uh, actually the city doctors had understood uh, the diseases which he had and uh, they wanted to cure him but how they wanted to cure him is by giving him medication and the protagonist was very thankful to the old doctor because he has taught him how to live a nice life a, a happy life and he has renewed his body and mind in a natural way and the story ends here it's a beautiful story if you have anything to add on to what i said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you